Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, we're going to check it out how to create this neon effect in After Effects. All right, first thing, let's create a new composition. I'm going to rename this as text. I'm going to make it 1080p. I'm going to make it like six seconds. Click OK. I'm going to select the type tool, click on the screen, type in whatever you want. I'm going to press and hold control and double click on a pen behind. So it's going to arrange the anchor point right here into the center. I'm going to arrange it here to the center, the typography. I'm going to press the letter S. So I'm going to scale it down here. Good. Right click here, go to new solid and I'm going to type in Saber. Okay, so Saber is a plugin. I'm gonna type in here Saber and I'm gonna leave the link in the description to this plugin so you can download it for free. So I'm gonna drag the Saber plugin right here into the solid. I'm gonna to go to the custom core and go to Saber type. I'm gonna select text layer because I created the text, of course, and I'm gonna select the, from the text layer the Panther text. And I'm going to uncheck the text, the typography. And here I can, uh, you know, decrease the glow intensity. I can adjust, you know, the glow. So basically you're going to work with uh, glow bias, glow spread and glow intensity. You also can change the color of the glow. Now we also have the core size. The core size is this, basically the stroke thickness. So I'm going to increase a little bit more. And it's going to look something like this. Okay, so now we're going to work with the start size and start offset. What I need to do is I'm going to activate the stopwatch on both. I'm going to decrease here at the beginning to zero and I'm going to increase here to max. I'm going to bring it to the first second. I'm going to increase it here to a hundred and actually, sorry, a hundred, not 200 and here to zero. Let's check it out. Perfect. I'm going to also go to the Saber options, go to Effect, Saber. I'm going to go to the Customize Core. I'm going to select all of these. Right click, Keyframe Assist, select Easy Ease. So it's going to make it more smoother. And from here, I'm going to select the keyframe of these two. I'm going to press Control C. I'm going to go to the fifth second, actually, press Control V. And I'm going to select these two, press control C, go to go all the way to the six second. So it's going to start here and it's going to end here. Actually, I'm going to make this only three seconds because it's too long right now. So I'm going to drag this. Perfect. I'm going to drag this here. I also got to type in here, scale wipe, scale wipe. I'm going to drag the scale wipe right on the saber. I'm going to type in here to the direction minus 90 degrees. So I'm going to bring it here when it's complete and I'm going to bring this strength all the way up to hundred percent. I'm going to select the 960. I'm going to press control C and I'm going to, you know, increase it until it's going to disappear. There you go. And I'm going to start with these adjustments from the start. I'm going to select the stopwatch from the stretch and the center. I'm going to go to the first second and I'm going to decrease the stretch to zero. Actually, I'm going to type in zero and I'm going to type in here. I'm going to press control V the 960. So it's like this. So I'm going to go to the settings. I'm going to surf for, you know, here is the CT. The CC scale wipe. I'm going to go to the CC scale wipe. I'm also going to select these and create easy ease keyframes. Easy ease. All right, looking good. And you also can put some flicker. This is the flicker. I'm going to. Okay, so we got the flicker intensity. I'm going to increase the flicker intensity. Flicker speed. I might don't need that much speed. I'm going to go with like 10. And it's going to start, you know, vibrating. See that? Now it's really fast. I'm going to decrease it somewhere around 100. There you go. Now this is a proper neon sign. So this was it. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.